What's up guys, Zach Scott here with Ashley Scott playing The Walking Dead game episode 2 and things are getting a little strange. We went out to do some reconnaissance. Uh, the guy I went with ended up killing a woman. The woman had Clementine's hat. I'm going to try to find out more about that. Storming out. It is storming out. I have a camera for some reason. Uh, <laughs> gonna go, I'm going to go check on Clementine who's in this barn as you saw last episode. I'd like to thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching The Walking Dead as I play it. Thanks for all the ratings you guys have been leaving me. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for being our babies. So true. Who all's in here? Oh, cool. This little group. That's a prize winning cow. Cow's getting better. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. She said it was okay, just do it. What are you scared of? As long as you're not standing behind it. Whoa! <laughs> Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. Oh, she's pregnant? We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? It's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Here's your hat. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! You knew I needed it. How did that well, woman find that hat? You did tell me it was a birthday know. present from your dad. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything. Like okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? <laughs> I have a kid already. Her name is Clementine. I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. I'm just Come gonna on, look at it. Cow. She looks skinny. Skinny cow. You make great Have ice cream sandwiches. Anything? No, not really. Mm, it smells funny in here. It's probably the cow shit. Like shit, right, Lee? <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't use swear words, okay? Why? It's the end of the okay. world. Who cares? God. <laughs> Hey Why is there, it Andy? Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think uh we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh yeah, he uh he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> what? I think you might ought to talk a little more. Let's uh, open all the stall doors here. Anything to note in this stall? I'm probably going to find something horrible in the third stall. <laughs> if there was something horrible in there, you'd think that you would have seen it by now. No, the third stall. There's another one of those salt would licks. Would have been making noise or something, right? I don't know. Another salt lick. Oh, there's hay. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Okay. I keep expecting there'd be like dead bodies in the hay or some weirdo. Roll, roll, roll in the hay. <laughs> All right, third stall. Let's see what's inside door behind door number three. Victims boxes. Oh. Like a dairy box. Empty. Boring. It's still creepy. I still don't trust this place. Of course not. Oh, here's another stall door. Uh, what's a what? The hell? Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. What? <laughs> Ooh, 
Smells pretty foul. Ew. Oh god. If it's just clothes, it's probably not gonna smell, so... Yeah. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Can't do anymore. Ooh. Smells pretty foul. This place is so weird. I'm getting so freaked out by this place. It's full of children's bones. Open stall door here. What's gonna be in here? What is that? It's a feeding trough. Okay, why did they include that? I don't know, this whole thing is freaking me out though. It's a really small stall. Do you notice the cow barely fits laying down? No. Let's see what this is all about. It's locked. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No! <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> it's because I'm black. Well, you're, you know, urban? <laughs> oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. Flow rider. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, <laughs> the bandits and all. Oh. <laughs> about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Do I have a screwdriver? Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. <laughs> well, enough already. Sorry, sorry. He's saying the fuck word in front of the kids. Yeah. And Clementine can't say shit. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. I can shut down the generator, which would shut down the fence, which would probably invite zombies inside, which would be horrible, but I'll do it. <laughs> if I can. Barn door. Going out. You're supposed to distract Andy. Hey, see if Andy wants a blowjob. No. <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, God, they're going to oh, be I together. just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Please tell me Larry lays that old woman. I don't know. I think she'd rather eat him. Lots of hay. Uh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. I don't know how I'm supposed to distract. 
Um. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. The cow. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. And I will kill him. I do not like Kenny's new idea of taking over this farm. After what Kenny told me, yeah. I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Okay. Why do we all have all this affection for Mark? Mark seems kind of like a dumbass so far. I don't know. He seems kind of cool. He's... I like his glasses. <laughs> he was immediately like, let's just all come hang out here. That's true. Well, he, he And saw he was food. like, hey, Larry, this guy says you're a racist. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Let me go see if there's a screwdriver in here. It's a small toolbox. There we go. A multi tool. That should be handy. Yep. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I think my goal here. Should I go talk to them? Look at house. Let's look at it. Look at it. Yeah. Just walk, walk really far away. In there. Yeah, me too. Can you go check on Mark at all? I don't know. Let's go talk to this guy. Kind of worried about Mark. I'm worried Hello. that Mark might be for dinner. Glad I got to use her today. My Creepy. girl here. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage, some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too, or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. This is creepy, man. You really like that guy. What's not to like? Not much, I guess. Exactly. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. 
It'll be a good one. <laughs> It'll be a good supper. There's way too much up with this house. <laughs> yeah, well. He was he was excited that he got to murder a woman today. Yeah. I don't much care for that. Look at outlet. Hold up. There's an outlet here. Look at it. Let's look at it. Now, don't get me wrong. If someone's holding a gun to your head... I tell they built this thing themselves. ...kind of deserve it, but she didn't seem like she wanted to do it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. Okay, guys. Well, it's been enough snooping around today. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to distract Andy and open the door and see what's behind that barn. Curiosity have, has gotten the better of me. So come back next time. And I don't mean tomorrow. I mean whenever I get around to uploading this. I'm going to try to pump these out as quickly as possible. So come back then. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, all that. Goodbye.